Hello! Welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff, and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today, on the table before you, you see a few different wallets. I've reviewed all of these on the channel in the past. Now, I am someone who likes a slim wallet, a minimal wallet, a very small wallet. I like to be able to put my wallet in my front pocket. I don't like to carry a lot of things in my wallet, and using a small spare wallet makes sure that I keep things pared down quite a bit. So in the past, I reviewed this, the Popov leather wallet. Quite nice, made of Horween Chrome XL, a good wallet. This one, the Saddleback Front Pocket ID wallet. Probably my favorite wallet, the one that I've used the most throughout the years, still holds up quite nicely. I've reviewed this on the channel as well. And this, the Minimum Squared Slim wallet. Now I reviewed this on the channel. This was sent to me by Minimum Squared. It's a small company in Spain run by a woman named Sinella and her husband. They sent me this wallet originally for review because they saw some of my reviews of these other wallets. And they had come up with this design philosophy where they wanted to make a wallet with the maximum amount of space, with the minimum amount of materials and footprint. And they came up with this. And I reviewed this on the channel. You can check out that review. I'll try to link to it in the description box below. Where's my finger? There it is. Now, since that video, this particular wallet has won a Red Dot Product Design Award. Very prestigious, and the company Minimum Squared has also been certified as an artisan company by their regional artisan association. But all these wallets that we have here, these are in the past. I've got two new Minimum Squared wallets that I would like to show you right now. First off, a brand new design by Minimum Squared comes in this little manila envelope. We have here, wrapped in tissue paper, the Minimalist Wallet. This is made out of Horween Chrome XL. I've talked about Horween Chrome XL in the past. It's been made by an American tannery, Horween Tannery. It's impregnated with lots of, lots of waxes and oils, and it really gets a neat patina. It really ages in a very interesting way. When you bend and crease it, let's see if I can push on this, you can kind of see how the leather changes color as the waxes come to the surface or pull away from the surface. It's cool leather. I like it a lot. It's cool that they're using it now. The previous Minimum Squared wallet, this one, the original Slim wallet, was made with a goat leather. This is made with Chrome XL. Now this thing is absolutely tiny. You can see it next to my old standby, the Saddleback. This is a small wallet. It easily fits in my front pocket. Look at the footprint here. The measurements are actually 3.54 inches this away by 2.32 inches and then when it's packed with five cards, it is approximately 0.39 inches thick. So how does this thing work? You've got an elastic band here, you've got a flap here, you pull that to open the wallet, and it has a card slot here, and then a little slot where you can put bills. And it's kind of interesting. Let me load it up and I'll show you something. All right, I have four cards in here. They're actually a little thicker than they would normally be because I have blue tape covering up the vital bits of information that you don't need to see. So let's say that's about five cards. That's what they say, four to seven. Five seems like a good average number. Now they also say that you can put bills in here. Obviously not a lot, it's a little tiny wallet. But let's see what happens when we get a couple bills. Let's see, I'm rich, so let me grab my big stacks of cash here. Here's a 20 and a one. We have folded these babies in half. They're kind of old, so they don't crease very well. We're going to put them in the bill slot like this and then tuck them inside, like so. Close the flap, close the elastic, and there you have it. An extremely slim, extremely minimalist wallet. It is called the Minimalist Wallet after all. Now, this might be a little too minimalist for my concerns, for my needs. I probably want to carry a few more cards than this. I usually have a lot more cash than this because I'm kind of someone who enjoys paying with cash. But let me show you how this works. You've loaded up with cash, you flip it open, and there you go. There's your money. You can pull it out. You pay. If you want to, uh, I, I don't know how many bills this could do. Let's add a couple more here, see what happens. Like I said, I'm loaded. Now these aren't folded very nicely, but hopefully it'll still work. Once again, close her up. It's a little fiddly, but it works. Here we go again. There you go, there's your money. 
it's pretty cool. So if you're somebody who doesn't carry a lot of cash and doesn't need a lot of space for cards, maybe a driver's license, a couple credit cards, this might be a really good option for you. It is so insanely compact. It is literally the smallest wallet I've ever seen that can hold this many cards. It can hold up to seven, they say, and several bills. It's kind of crazy. Now, the wallet that I've been using the most and the one that I think is more my speed is this one. This is the Slim Wallet, but it's the updated version of the Slim Wallet. My old version, the one that I reviewed on the channel, came with an elastic piece like this and was made out of goat leather. This is made out of that Horween Chrome XL, and it does not have an elastic piece. So what you do is you fold that flap over into the wallet. You can see here that it comes with a couple inserts. It shows you how many cards you can put in each pocket. This is front left, up to two cards. Front right, up to three. You have slots in here. Rear right, up to three. Rear left, up to two. And it's basically the same design as the original Slim Wallet. You can put full bills in here, depending on how big your currency is, but it fits US dollars quite nicely. It supposedly fits to euros as well. And you can fit quite a few cards, up to 10. Now again, all of these wallets are handmade, hand-stitched. The ones that are made of Chrome XL use a Ritza 25 polyester waxed thread from the Julius Koch company, founded in Denmark in 1895. Hand-stitched, no machine stitching here at all, all hand-folded. It's pretty much just one piece of leather, all stitched together, really well made. You can see how this Chrome XL leather ages quite nicely. I've had this a couple weeks now. I've been using it exclusively for that amount of time. You can see the creases on here, but it's going to hold together. This leather is very tough. Now let me load this baby up and I'll show you exactly how I have it configured and how it's been working for me. So here we are, the Slim Wallet in Chrome XL loaded up with all my cards and cash, etc. I wanted to point out one thing before we actually get into this. You can see the stitching here is this cool green color. You have your choice of a bunch of different colors of stitching. You can do orange, red, green, dark blue, or brown on this particular wallet. And again, that is the Ritza 25 polyester waxed thread. Um, let's take a look at what I've got here. I've got two credit cards, bank card, a credit card in the front pocket here. I've got my driver's license here. There's no driver's license window, obviously, but it slots in there quite nicely. I've got one more credit card here in this pocket, and then got a weapons license and a uh, Band-Aid in there as well. Everyone always makes fun of me for having Band-Aids. They're not necessarily for me. I give them out to people all the time, and sometimes you're bleeding everywhere, and you need to stop the bleeding, or you're gonna get it all over your nice new shirt. All right, and then I've got seven bills in here as well. So you can see it fits all this in here quite compactly. When you do have that many bills, it tends to want to flap open a little bit. But again, this is going to be in your pocket. And for the most part, most people don't carry that much cash around with them. If you have three or four bills, it's not going to be an issue. Obviously, the fewer cards you have, the less bulky it will be. But just take a look at this compared to my Saddleback Leather wallet. Now, this is fully loaded. And you can see the Saddleback Leather wallet is obviously thinner, but it's empty. But this is barely, let's see. That's not even a half an inch. Using my amazing caliper-like fingers, I'm gonna guess that's about three-eighths. The actual dimensions, according to the Minimum Squared website, when filled with 10 cards, the width is 3.62 inches, um, the height is 2.68, and the width is 0.59, so a little over half an inch. Mine's a little thinner because I don't have that many cards in it right now. So I've been using this for about a week and a half, maybe, maybe two weeks, and I really like it, and it may even replace this. <laughs> the Saddleback Front Pocket ID wallet, which I've had for several years and which I love. I love this wallet. It's served me very, very well. But the one little caveat about this wallet is that you do have to fold your bills in half and shove them in here, and sometimes that can be a little tricky. Sometimes it's a little fiddly. You get used to it, you get around it. But this one, you just slot your bills in whole. You don't have to fold them. You don't have to scrunch them. You don't have to just finagle them into the wallet. They fold up, you fold down the flap, you close the wallet, and there you go. I really like this wallet. Now there's one caveat. These wallets are handmade of quality materials. 
They take quite a while. It's just a woman and her husband making these. They don't have employees. They're kind of expensive. How expensive, you ask? Well, the Slim Wallet, made of Horween dark brown Chrome XL, is 165 euros. That translates to about 173.65. So yeah, it's kind of spendy. The Minimalist Wallet in Horween number eight Chrome XL and orange stitching and elastic is quite a bit cheaper at 64 euros or around $63. I think it's like 63, or no, 67.36 in US dollars. So a much cheaper option, obviously. Obviously it uses less material, probably takes much less time to make. So this big boy, big boy being relative because it's very, very small, is about $170 US. That is, that is expensive, but it's a quality product. I like it a lot. Um, obviously these were sent to me for review, so it's really hard for me to put myself in the shoes of someone who did not get these for review to determine whether or not I would buy one. But judging by their website and the fact that many of their products are sold out a lot, I'm assuming that quite a few people are into these. They've gotten a lot of press in Europe, um, a lot of good press. They've won design awards. I like them a lot. I really like this, the Slim Wallet. I think you should at least check out the website. I will put a link in the description box below. But until we meet again, until next time, thank you so much for watching. I've been your good friend Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things reviewing the Minimum Squared Slim Wallet in Horween Dark Brown Chrome XL and the Minimum Squared Minimalist Wallet in Horween Number 8 Chrome XL with orange stitching and elastic. See you later.